Hello and welcome to Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health. For those of you who don't know what this is, it's a series that premieres every Saturday, 3pm UK time. There's a live chat and that live chat is kind of like a virtual cafe, a virtual support group. So if you're feeling lonely, feeling low, or you just want to chat makeup, then this is the place to be. So let's get started. So today I'm going in first with the VE Cosmetics Witchcraft Beyond the Veil Primer. I love this. So how have you guys been doing? Have you had a good week? Um, my week's just been a bit meh. I've, uh, it's been a particularly painful week. For some reason, the pain has wanted to be kind of in my ribs and the centre of my chest and all good fun and the skin on my arm has just felt like it's on fire and a million needles stabbing it <laughs> but touch wood that seems to have calmed down but I did want to say that um, any of my videos from this week if I've seemed a bit kind of unhappy or off um, I have been in a lot of pain. I did try to edit out as much of that as I could, but it's not always impossible without kind of editing out part of the video that needs to be there, if that makes sense. But yeah, so I do, I do try. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not that I'm unhappy, it's that I've, I've been in pain. Anyways, we're getting off that subject. So for foundation, I'm going in with the Madage Beauty London. It is their Skin Perfect Photo Ready Foundation. I have it in the shade Medium Light Porcelain. I love this and I do happen to know that there is a setting powder on the way that's going to complement both the foundation and the concealer. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. Um, I do still need to pick up the primer, however I'm thinking now that I'm going to hold out and pick it up with the powder because well, it just makes sense that way. Um, I have actually been chatting to James, who's the, uh, the man behind Madage Beauty. He is just such a lovely person, like really kind, just genuine wonderful person with a great sense of humor and this is just one of the many things i love about supporting like smaller or lesser known indie brands that the people behind it generally it's kind of one or two people maybe a small team but it means that much more to them rather than in a big company it's like I don't know, there's just, I feel less thought and care goes into the products and the customer service. So, yeah. But Madosh Beauty is definitely one of the brands that I, I highly support. And not because I get the PR. Um, I mean, as any of you who are avid watchers of my videos will know, the only mascara I use is the Madage Beauty one. Um, the concealer in particular I love for under my eyes um, but it is good for all over the face too as you will see in a moment. Um, but yeah um, this isn't an advertising video but yeah I just thought I'd mention that because uh, it's nice to have some exciting news of upcoming stuff especially in the times we're in at the moment where just there's so much uncertainty This uh, COVID situation has caused so many issues for everyone. But at the same time, I feel like, for me especially, it has given me a chance. Well, I started my channel, which, as you may or may not know, will turn one year old next month. I'm so excited. The giveaway, by the way, is going to be epic. I have had... Some people donate some stuff also, so I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be able to, just to give back 
so so excited um, but more details of that are going to be on the way um, I will be kind of opening up the giveaway a week before the first birthday so if you are keeping your eyes on the channel you will see because uh, I'm, I'm going to make a big deal of it of course it's got to be done this foundation is just so beautiful and bizarrely this brush this foundation brush I am loving it's from she glam machine it was dirt cheap and it's just beautiful I really really love it I rate it very highly as a lot of their products actually I was so so surprised me just make myself central I was so so surprised actually at how many of the products I loved crazy if you haven't seen that video and you want to I would say I'd link it but I I don't know if I remember because yeah I forget things a lot at the moment my brain's not not loving life so uh, if you go on to my channel look in the videos it's one of the most recent ones so it's a a full face of she glam so yeah if you want to see that it's easy to find and oh, I don't know why I'm still dabbing that in it's done <laughs> I have a lost the plot so you yeah, have concealer I'm going in with again Madage Beauty London Skin Perfect Photo Ready Concealer I've practiced that a lot can you tell um again I have it in the shade medium like porcelain I love this um I love this as much for brightening as for covering anything. I'm, I've been, my skin's been clearing up so well. Um, I've been using, it's the Glow Getter Skin Oil from Byrux, and it has, as you might have seen actually before I started piling on the foundation, my skin has cleared up so much which is really nice because I'm so dying to try all of these um, like BB creams and stuff and I think now now I'm kind of ready so yeah skin tints all of those I think just in time for the summer it's going to be perfect going to be is perfect perfect timing <laughs> I say just for the summer, it's not like I go out and do anything because, uh, yeah, I still can't walk very far, but never mind. One of them things and that, such is life. Am I actually sitting in the frame? I think I am. Who knows? Right. I'm actually going to try, I haven't used this one for, well I haven't used this brush at all yet, but it's a Spectrum A18 and I just want to see, I just want to see if it kind of, if it's any good, because it's kind of like flat finger, <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense at all, oh okay. So I usually like to use kind of a almost fluffy brush one. yes yes it does do the job very well i don't know what i was expecting to be fair i did have another brush at the ready for if i didn't like this for this i do have to watch though where it's a bit longer not to stab myself in the eye because i've just come close quite a few times yeah nice all right i'm not going to set straight away because i do have here some cream products i'm going to use cream products this week i'm feeling fancy and this is the i can't remember what it's called because it's not on there it's the she glam i call it contour stick but i think it's like a glow up something um but it's in the shade cinnamon and it will be listed in the description box below for if you want to know the actual name but this here is the 
cream contour or glow up stick or something like that but I've actually been really really enjoying this as a cream contour I'm pretty sure that is what it's meant to be maybe a bronzer who knows who knows but yeah I really like this <laughs> is where all of that was headed anyway so yeah I can't even remember what I was talking about. Was there anything exciting? I doubt it. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> My brain. I, I have never ever been this forgetful and easily confused. It's just, I don't quite know how to how to deal with it. If I'm honest, so I try to just keep positive and and laugh it off, but. I don't know, it gets to me sometimes because I've always loved learning and at the moment I, I just physically can't, it doesn't stay in, I can't read a book, um, it's just really frustrating and quite often if I'm watching something like a film or something, um, I get confused really quick so I've been tending to watch films mostly that I've already seen and I know the the storyline too but if I'm watching stuff on YouTube the amount of times I have to kind of stop and rewind it a bit because they've just completely forgotten what's just been said it's uh yeah it's quite it's ridiculous really but never mind I find it quite embarrassing when I'm uh, trying to have a conversation with people like in real life that I can't edit it out and I start saying something and then I've just, I, I just can't remember what I was going to say or, or I'll go and say something and I can't think of the word. And it's like, you know, when you have those moments, you try and think of a word, but it's kind of more exaggerated and it's, I, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's frustrating and embarrassing. So crazy oh the other thing about these they've got a little brush on the other end which I still haven't used yet maybe I will maybe I won't I, I just keep forgetting it's there if I'm honest but yeah I really enjoy this one is uh, yeah <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me um right so before I carry on nattering the liquid blush I'm going in with today is the blushing bubbles liquid blush in the shade emotion and it is from metamorphosis i love this a lot it does have one of these doe foots it's got hair on it how does that happen um it's got one of these doe foots so i just put some on the back of my hand i used to plant it straight on my cheeks but i don't know i, I tend to go overboard anyway um as you can probably see this does blend in beautifully though so I'm not so worried that's why I was <laughs> not panicking as such it's just beautiful really really nice liquid blush I'm really into cream products at the moment it's quite crazy because it's not something it's not something I've ever really, I don't know, like not disliked, I haven't disliked it such, I just haven't really been interested in it or had the want to kind of learn what to do with it, but yeah, all of a sudden I do. Right, so again, I can't remember what this is called because it's a sample part, it's from Madage Beauty and it's in the shade Platinum. It's their kind of liquid highlighter, it's a liquid skin illuminator. But yes, I have a little sample here and I'm just going to get a little bit, oh, that's not a little bit, Steph, a little bit on my finger and just tap that. Tap it in up here. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Apparently we're just highlighting everywhere today, but you know. 
this is really pretty really pretty look at that this in itself is nice like when you're having a no makeup day i don't have very many of them um <laughs> because well i always need to kind of draw on my brows so whilst i'm at it i uh i tend to just do my makeup anyway because i find that my brows look funny like if i haven't got makeup on i don't know if it's the way i do it or if it's just all in my head but yeah i'm i'm at my most comfortable with a full face of makeup let's just say that so let's pop the lid back on that and quickly go in and tap out under the eyes I actually really like this brush for under the eyes. I didn't think I would. Because when you see people using them, it looks like it's dragging. But although it looks like it, it's actually not. It's just kind of moving it a bit. <laughs> I don't know. Do I actually make any sense at all? <laughs> Let me know. Or, or maybe don't. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I have no idea. So the powder I'm going in with is from She Glam. It is the Baked Glow Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. Again, I really rate this. It's a really lightweight, just nice powder. And again, dirt cheap. Well, I feel it's dirt cheap. <laughs> so... I'm just going to quickly set under my eyes before you crease. The one thing, the one thing, one of the things I love about this powder is it doesn't kind of cake up under my eyes and make them look, um, well, cakey, liney, doesn't emphasise anything. I like that. But where it's quite hot and I'm a bit oilier at the moment, I'm just put in extra hair on me. So. I'm just kind of uh, concentrating a bit of powder like in those areas a bit more just to just to make sure that the oils stay to a minimum. I don't mind when they come through a bit and it just looks like a kind of natural glow. And then just using a big powder brush. You can see kind of as it flies away how finely milled it is. It kind of reminds me a bit of the Fenty powder that I have and love. It's like a, a cheaper alternative. I wouldn't say it's kind of an exact dupe, but... Well, it's not far off. Not far off at all. My face feels really nice after using it. Like, really soft. I find that it does blur. It's got these particles in that make it glow without looking, like, shiny. Or like I have highlighter all over my face, which some do that. So, yeah, I like that. So for powder contour, I've got the Peaches and Cream Sculpting Powder in the shade Light Medium. I love this. Peaches and Cream is another UK indie brand. And I have, I think, one, is there brushes? Maybe two. Um, and this, and I love this. I do have a couple, a few of their loose pigments. And what I've tried so far, I've absolutely loved. So yeah nice All right. that will do and then for bronzer i've got the nabla skin bronzing in the shade june one here, I love this also. Um, let's 
som. I don't know if I've said this already now. Um, um, we did watch The Day After Tomorrow this week. It's one of my favourite films ever. And um, again, it was picked. I, I tend to, at the moment, pick things I've seen before because, like I said, I have a brain like a sieve. Um, but yeah, The Day After Tomorrow is one of my absolute favourite films ever. So yeah, that was a nice little pick-me-up. My wonderful boyfriend picked up Cornettos this week. So I have had Cornettos. So for my brows, I'm going to use the e.l.f. liner and brow gel. It's in the shade Espresso. I've been falling in love with this all over again. So I am going to do my usual brushing up of my non-existent brows. It stops me feeling left out. <laughs> I'm going with that. So, as far as pomades go, this is still the best one I have found uh, it hasn't dried up yet which is just shocking really because most of them most of them dry up really quickly so I'm actually using a different brush I'm hoping hoping this one works out just as well I don't know if you can actually see what I'm doing. I mean, it's rather difficult doing brows on camera because where I'm half blind, I'm usually like this. There. Hmm, we'll see. See what kind of brows we end up with today. So I, I never really know. I just kind of start brushing on hair strokes and go from there. And then we kind of work with what we have. I think this is my issue with doing a, a how-to on brows because I kind of change, change what I do every time. I don't know if that's the right way to uh, so I wouldn't say I'd necessarily change what I do, but I just tend to go with what happens. Go with the flow. I just found that's the kind of what's worked best for me. And it doesn't matter how many tr times I try and keep the front bit more natural looking. It just doesn't doesn't end up happening very often <laughs> because I make mistakes and have to try and go in and fix them and it's a whole process doing eyebrows. If you have nice eyebrows, oh just treasure them. Treasure them because this is a pain in the backside having to do this every time you kinda of wanna go out without looking browless brow bold I don't know, is there an actual name for that? I don't know if there is probably not but yeah I feel brow bold without my brows so this is kind of my little cure now, I make it sound like some kind of ailment. It's my own fault I have no brows because when I was a teenager and pencil thin brows were all the rage, I I plucked them just so much that they never grew back. So, self-inflicted. I think having to do this all the time is like my punishment for ruining my brows. That's looking patchy. Why? Why are you looking patchy? Oh, 
Well, never go on with thick stripes because trying to get rid of them <laughs> is like impossible. Absolutely impossible. Still going. It definitely doesn't help that I can't actually really see properly what I'm doing without my glasses. And the contact lenses I have are, they're not prescription ones, they're just coloured ones to kind of I don't know, make me feel a bit, a bit different. Although I keep forgetting I've got them and forgetting to put them in. Oh my word. Believe me, you don't want to be inside this brain. It's like a maze. Once you're in, you can't find your way out. Which makes me think of the labyrinth, actually. Have any of you watched that film? Are any of you fans of that film also? I love it. I used to watch it all the time as a kid and then when my daughter was like really young, she was only a toddler, my mum got it me for Christmas and it was just like the best Christmas present that year ever. She got the same for my sister too because she's another, another Labyrinth fan. It's surprising actually though how many people don't actually know about the film the other big ones for me were like the bfg oh i love the bfg i still love the bfg now i haven't have i watched the do you know i don't even remember if i've watched the new one i think i have i think it was good but you, you can't beat the originals with these things at all um the lion king that's another um, favourite when it comes to those older style older style films Pete's Dragon um, a very old one which nobody ever seems to have heard of and I managed to find on DVD it's Hoppity Goes to Town so do any of you remember that film because I have yet to find someone outside of my family that has even heard of it So yeah, if you have heard of and seen Hoppity Goes to Town, let me know because it would be so cool to have someone else know what I'm talking about. It was a film that my granddad used to put on for us when we were young we used to go and visit him. God, I loved that film so much. Right. Are they looking even? <laughs> Do they ever? No. It's about as even as they're gonna get, I think. We'll see. We shall see. It always goes that one eyebrow is always easier to work with or easier to do than the other. Is that the same when you actually have brows, like proper brows that you haven't drawn on. Is that the same? Do you still find that one brow plays ball more than the other? Or is it just a, you know, brow world people? Hmm. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Is it going to match? Hey ho. Kinda. They're kind of at the same height as well, I think. Ish. That's the other thing. Quite often, one eyebrow looks like good and the other one looks surprised almost. <laughs> 
like it's trying to take off angry brow I don't know I'm on one a bit today I think but actually I don't know what I'm talking about anymore Yeah, I have been just, well I still am because obviously this video is going up tomorrow. So looking forward to Karma Chameleon. I find that it's, it's kind of a much needed get together with people and, you know, nice people. It's just, I don't know, I just love it. That will do. That will do. So for eye primer, I'm going to be going in with the Juvia's Place Prep Prime Eyeliner. I have it in the shade 1. I really enjoy this. Really enjoy it. And again, pop a bit on the back of my hand. It's a slightly kind of, although it sits like that, it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's not quite, it's not as firm a consistency as some of them. Does that make sense? I find myself saying that all the time at the moment. Does that make sense? Because just because it makes sense in my head does not make does not mean that it makes sense at all. I am coming to realise of recent. Oh, one thing I did discover this week is that one of my beautiful friends on here, I did not realise had her own channel so i will link marina's channel in the description box below please go and check her out she is so calming like super calming to listen to she is really talented she loves color and she's got an awesome sense of humor i I absolutely loved it. I only discovered she had a channel when the wonderful Erica, who you all know and love, who also has a channel, which I will link in the description box below, um, she did a collab with Marina. It was actually the Ages, Ageism, Ages ta tag? I did it ages ago, the one that um, Debbie, Final Beauty, started. Well, they collabed and did that tag, and it was so so interesting just to hear other people's take on on that too i think debbie created such a a great tag there and uh, i'm surprised more people haven't actually done it to be honest yeah the one thing with this um because i got shade one it is that bit lighter, but then if you kind of tap around, it's uh, it's not too bad. But I do love the formula of this. It kind of reminds me a bit of the ABH, but not as dry. Like a slightly more manageable, no, that is definitely not the word. A slightly, is it runnier? No, it's not runny. Well, it's not as dry. We're just going to go with that because I cannot for the life of me think what word I am trying to think of. So, yeah, it's not as dry. But it's very similar. I would say this is probably a good and cheaper alternative if you uh, either can't afford the ABH one or just don't want to support ABH I guess which is completely your right but yeah 
I, I do think this is a pretty good alternative. And then I'm just going to kind of use the warmth of my finger to kind of almost melt it in so it doesn't look like it's just sat there. Just sat there like an unwanted visitor. Now, I do find that this does tend to crease if you don't start using powder. If you don't start doing your eyeshadow straight away, but then I find that with the ABH one too. And pretty much everyone that I've used that isn't clear. Okay, so the eyeshadow palette I am going to be going in with today is the 5050 Summer Palette. I figured, hey, we're in summer even though it doesn't look like it outside, I'm gonna use the summer palette. So yeah, this is what I'm using today. So the first shade I am going in with is Passion Fruit. I've been so excited to try this. The other 50-50 palette I have, which is the Aphrodite 2.0, I love that. Oh, this is such a pretty colour. I'm not going in with as much at a time because I want to kind of build it up. Oh, this, their shadows just blend effortlessly. Actually, I was watching Nikki Raven's favourite favourite summer palettes. Was it favourite summer palettes? Do you know? No, it wasn't. It was her ranking her most recent 20 palettes. And she was talking about the Blood Moon and just how effortless those purples are to work with. And I 100% agree. That palette is just amazing. Just amazing. It is all matte, but you know, that's is what it is. Wow. I love how this colour is building up but also blending itself out. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Ooh, I'm liking that a lot. So that's the other difference actually between this Juvia's Place um, eye primer and the ABH. This has that bit more tack. So it does grip, it does grip the colour better. Oh, and we're up. Did I say what it was called? The shade's called Passion Fruit. I don't remember if I told you or not. Absolutely beautiful. I'm loving how that's looking. So I am going to, do I really want it on such a, yeah I do. I'm going to go in with Atlantic, which is this deep, I'm sure it's blue or purple. Let's see. Definitely, is it definitely? I think it's more of a blue. Oh my word, I do apologise for any of you that have come along expecting 
a seasoned pro and you got me but yeah, these things happen okay I'm definitely gonna have to use that purple to blend this in better but I'm using more of a kind of packing type brush at the moment so it's not going to kind of blend as easy again not sure if I'm making any sense oh I do love this shade. Oh, okay. I will blend that in. In a moment, I'm just gonna, I just gonna, I'm just going to get this color down. Oh my word. I'm trying to take it easy so that I don't get any fallout. Because yet again, I forgot to do eyes first. I should leave myself like a post-it note or something uh, to remind myself to do eyes first. This is such a pretty colour though. And I think when I get them blended better, it's going to be a really lovely kind of colour combo, a nice gradient. I like that. Right, so back, <laughs> back in with passion fruit just a little bit and just going to use that to kind of blend them together a bit we will kind of flip between the two I want to get it started Yeah, this is a nice colour combo. Up here, if it doesn't look like it's blending properly, I seem to have a bit of texture there at the moment. I'm not 100% sure why. Probably just because my, my eyelids are getting old. That's looking really good. I'm just going to go back in with the blue one a bit here, just to drag it out a bit more. And then back in with passion fruit. I don't know why I didn't click actually. The name is Atlantic for the blue one. Atlantic is an ocean. I have no excuse. Well, I do actually. I'm on meds and they seem to mess with my brain. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving how that's looking. So, the other side. So just a little bit more to kind of deepen, deepen that blue a little bit. This just blends so beautifully. I'm so impressed with how, how well this blue is blending. Is uh, they can be pretty difficult.
And this is just stunning. I'm going to take a little bit of the NYX Glitter Primer on the back of my hand there and and just pop some all over my lid there Okay, so with that on, I am first going in with Caribbean Sea, which I can see is a blue. No need for guessing this time, eh, Steph? And just placing that at a diagonal across lid there oh that's pretty that is pretty very pretty very pigmented and very beautiful i am loving that so if i can find the brush i'm looking for you'll do will you mm, yeah yeah so then i am going in with aquamarine which is this beautiful kind of sea green and again just placing that and just where we've laid down the NYX glitter primer I am falling in love with this shade instantly look at that I feel like a summer ocean summer's day ocean something like that and then just going to kind of tap it over the other shade there, Caribbean Sea. That's beautiful absolutely absolutely beautiful Look at that. This is beautiful. And just kind of melting together as well. Beautiful. I love this. I seem to have developed a, well, I say developed it, I've always done it, but somehow I've kept it off camera a lot. It's kind of just singing singing things to myself well and to anyone else that's listening usually uh, oh well it's part of me and if you if you're here you must at least be able to tolerate me if not like me right i i am loving that there is a slight bit of fallout there but oh Okay, there was 
there was a slight bit of fallout there but it's gone so how do i want to go with the under eye all right firstly i'm going to take a bit of atlantic the deeper blue matte and i'm just going to attack everything with it okay i'm just going to place that right up against the lash line there I always think to myself, right, for Karma Chameleon, I'm going to just do a nice, super easy, simple look. But I, it's not that I don't like them. I think I don't have as much fun. I can't get as creative when I do that, I think. I'm putting a tiny bit extra on because we are going to be going back in with, are we going to go with passion fruit? Yeah, no, yeah, I'm going to go back in with passion fruit. I couldn't make up my mind there. And just use that to blend. Um, again, taking a tiny bit of time because of fallout although as you can see this is super pigmented so you don't need to take a lot of time anyway oh beautiful so yeah nice and easy Yes. I like that. Right, in a corner. In a corner, in a corner. So, I am going to stop singing to myself. So, I'm going to take some NYX Glitter Primer, just a little bit. How have I got that all over me? Wow. That's not... That's way too much. Take a little bit. I just want just a little bit just on the inner corner there. Okay, and With the same brush, I'm going to go into Soleil and that is going to go on the inner corner. Oh, I love that. I love it. Look at that. That is such a bright and vibrant yellow that is beautiful this could well be my favorite shade in this palette that look at that look at that and yellow is obviously a, a very summery color anyway yeah i love that well my nice simple look kind of went out the window but i am so glad because i'm loving this really loving it i do love a yellow inner corner It can take a look to the next level, I think. Let me know what you think. Are you a yellow on the inner corner kind of girl? Or not? 
there's no rights and wrongs either way everyone has their own their own things just putting a bit more on because I would just want it to kind of ever so slightly go into the lid shade there that that will do I love that okay so I am going to give my face a quick spritz with the Catrice Prime and Fine multi-talent fixing spray I love this I've I've used it a lot as you can probably see Again, don't don't try and breathe in when you've just sprayed it. There's my my makeshift fan because the one my daughter lent me is downstairs, and my legs don't want to walk down the stairs. <laughs> so yeah, right. What am I doing? I haven't got a clue. What am I doing? What comes next? I don't fancy eyeliner today, so we're skipping it. The eyeliner on top of the eyes anyway. I do have one for in the waterline. But first, first we are curling the lashes. Again, I say this all the time, this is the best lash curler ever. And it's so cheap and it's from She Glam on the site Sheen, Shane. Sheen? I'm not sure. <laughs> there. Yeah, they do some really, really good products. Okay. And then in with the Medeja Lash Mascara from Madage Beauty. If you're not new, this won't come as a surprise because it's the only one I use. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to build it up too much because obviously I am sticking on falsies today. But this is one mascara that I, if I fancy a no lashes day, I don't feel quite as bare, if that makes sense. That will do because we are wearing falsies. Okay, so lashes. I am, I've been just loving using these lashes at the moment. They're from Bunny Beauty and the Star Miami. Unfortunately, Bunny Beauty has closed down, um, so you can't get these ones anymore. But I'm sure you can get kind of a similar style to that from other places. So the lash adhesive I've been using when I'm not using the pen ones is the So Su lash adhesive. It is it's latex free for any of you that have an allergy to latex but this has been just the gem find because I hate lash glue with a passion I have so many issues it's ruined so many pairs of my lashes but this one this one's good yeah like I was saying I think I was saying I really like this it's not one of them that's difficult to get off the lashes it doesn't say stay so sticky that you can't clean it off the lashes either which I love because that seems to be one of my biggest issues and oh that was wonky
and it's pretty easy to work with. For those who really don't like working with glue, this is definitely the best one that I have found. Yeah, you just wait a kind of a minute or so and just let it go tacky and then yeah it's pretty much does the job for you yeah definitely a new favorite so if I ever get round to filming this, um, my current favourites video, it's uh, it's definitely going to be in it. Spoiler alert! Definitely. So let's get some glue on the other one. I'll try not to get the glue on my fingers this time. And again, I don't know if I actually showed how I did it. I just put the, it's a brush tip. Am I holding it high enough? Nope. Brush tip, so you just brush it on like that. And I can't see what I'm doing, so I'm gonna have to move it down a bit more. But yeah, it's uh, definitely the easiest I have found. The last one I tried, it was meant to be quick drying and it didn't even dry down properly at all. It was like sticking my lashes together. Um, like long after it should have been dried, it was still sticking everything. It was really uncomfortable. And then when I went to kind of clean off my, my lashes, they were ruined because it's just sticky stuff that you just couldn't get it off, which really upset me because I lost some of, some of my nice pairs of lashes that I needn't have lost. But there you go. So just leave that to just leave it to go tacky. Really takes a uh, about a minute or so, maybe, maybe. I don't know. I do absolutely love these lashes I am so gutted that Bunny Beauty's closed down so gutted because I have a few of her lashes so unfortunately when I wear them you can't get hold of them anymore but like I said with lashes you can generally get hold of a similar style from varying different places so I hope that doesn't upset anyone that I'm using lashes that you can't get hold of anymore but I have them and Pretty much every time I do my makeup it is filmed so it would just be a complete waste if I didn't use them. So I hope you understand. So yes. On with the second one. I don't think I left that long enough to dry. Dry, go tacky even. Try and get it a bit closer. Yeah, it's so much easier to work with if you leave it to go tacky first, which Steph clearly did not. There. So now they are on, I am going to go in with the Linda Halberg Mood Crayon in the shade Happy Mood for my um what is it for? For my waterline. Wow. Oh 
I love these. My beautiful, wonderful friend Anki sent these to me and I love them. Absolutely love them. Yeah, they are so good in the waterline. I love my Colourpop ones, but these definitely do have the edge on the Colourpop ones. However, these are a lot more expensive, obviously. Yeah, these are definitely more vibrant in the waterline. Look at that. So yeah, let's make sure I take that over there. Love it. So yes, that is the happy mood. And just <clears throat> just a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes why my hair does not need mascara no go away I don't like to have too much on my lower lashes. I don't know why. I think it started because my upper lashes are so uh, like stumpy now that I didn't want to overdo my lower lashes in case they kind of um oh, okay don't talk whilst doing lashes still okay so for blush today i am going in with the pout and shout juicy lucy i think this is going to go perfectly Look at that. It definitely, definitely was the right colour. Why have I got hair on that? Come away. And look how that liquid highlight is still shining through. That is so beautiful. I think that's something I'm going to have to pick myself up a a full sized one rather than just using my sample size because I really love that and I am going to run out of that sample size pretty soon and then for highlighter i'm going to go in with the pout and shout again this is the happy glow lucky highlighter in the shade sunny days this is what she looks like one of my favorite highlighters this is beautiful If I haven't said it enough already, blushes and highlights, head to Pout and Shout because she's amazing. She is still only on Instagram at the moment. She is a very small new brand, but her her blushes in particular, better than most high end, or well, every high end one I've tried, they are my favourite. Excuse my phone, my favourite blushes. Beautiful. 
this is just one of the most I don't know summary highlights not that I'm ever bound by seasonal makeup because I'm not I'm this is why I haven't done these kind of my favorite spring palettes summer palettes whatever is because I don't change what colors I wear based on the season so this is a look that I would do all year round I wouldn't think it's particularly any season well I suppose for a lot of people it's more summery but yeah I, I don't know I just don't see colours as having a season they belong to as such yeah that's just me I'll so just go over with the blusher brush surely I can't be the only one that feels that way beautiful and then let's get a little brush and then I'm going to use the sunny days highlighter same highlighter and use that to pop up under my brow there oh look at that let's not put hairs up there that's really not a good idea look at that Isn't it just perfect? Look at that. beautiful right so that is that's pretty much the face done so lippy now i have here well i actually have a whole bunch of these lippy sticks that i uh, picked up from somebody who got them swatched them and didn't like them so i've got three of the shades here that i've uh, kind of swatched out and thought maybe um but firstly i do have also the primer the lippy sticks primer which is just well a primer <laughs> so i want to try this out this feels really nice I don't know if slightly waxy is the way to describe it or not, but yeah, seems good. So, colours we have, yeah, I don't think that's actually going to go, is that? So that one was at twilight, then this one is Topanga, hmm, maybe, maybe. And then this is Ziggy. No, I don't think I need to go that that dark. Let's try Top Hanger. Let's try it. Try it and see. I love the design of these. Yeah. I don't know if it's because it's going on top of the primer or just because it's the um, formula, but this is going on so easy.
Oh, yeah, I really, really love that. So, yeah, top hanger. I don't know what a top hanger is. That colour is beautiful. I love that. Absolutely love it. So, so, yeah, if you use these, let me know. Is it the primer that made this such an easy application? Or, or is it just the lippy sticks themselves? Let me know because I am... This formula feels beautiful. Yeah, I'm glad I have these. So yeah, this is the finished look. Let me know what you think, either in the live chat, if you're here at the live chat, or in the comment section below, if you're watching at a later time or a later date. Pop it in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And also let me know if you have these lippy sticks and what you think of them because just based on just this one application I love the primer and the lippy stick so yeah I should be looking forward to hearing what you have to say so that is the end for today thank you so much to all of you who have been chatting away in the live chat as always i love it i look forward to it every week and for those of you watching at a later time a later date thank you so much for watching and i hope you've enjoyed this and that maybe you'll consider coming along to one of the live chats which if i haven't said already is 3 p.m uk time every saturday so i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please do give it a like thumbs up it really helps me out. If you are new around here, then hi, I'm Steph. This is Karma Chameleon. I also do product reviews, etc. I'm a huge lover of colourful makeup, all makeup, but especially colourful. And I am a huge supporter of indie brands. So that is mostly what you will see on my channel. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please do hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload. And all that's left to say is thank you for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. <laughs>